Hi everyone, I hope you had a great week and I welcome you all back to my channel. So based on the title of the video, I'm sure you know what the topic for today is. I'll just give you a brief in terms of what all I am going to cover in this video. So we'll start with uh, building a binomial model in Excel. Later we'll build a VBA code in order to incorporate terms that can become complicated when you work in Excel. Then we'll try to reconcile the result from the VBA code uh, versus uh, Excel to ensure that our code is working fine. Then later we will uh, calculate the uh, option value on the basis of Black-Scholes model and then see the difference between these two models. Let's start with uh, building the binomial model first. So in interest of time, uh, I have already calculated uh, some formulas that we would require to build our binomial model. That is the up move factor, down move factor, uh, the calculation of uh, DT, uh, risk neutral, neutral probability and one minus P. I mean like you can uh, simply uh, go to Google and look for formulas for up and down factor binomial. That is how it's searched. And uh, whatever the result was, I've just, uh, you know, used the formula to build my model. In this table, you have assumption related to option. So you have stock price, strike price, time to maturity, risk free rate, volatility, a uh, number of steps that you would require in binomial method and option type. So for our exercise, uh, we will value a call option. And uh, like I said, the time to maturity is uh, two. So let's first build our binomial tree. So we have time zero, one, and then two. Okay. So uh, as of the date, uh, the stock price is 100. Okay. So the probability is we'll multiply this with by the up move factor. Okay, I'll just give you a quick brief of how I have calculated the up move factor. It is uh, similar to what you have in the formula, which is e raised to the power, which is the exponential function, uh, multiplied by uh, volatility, uh, the, which is 20% in our case, multiplied by square root of dt. So sqrt function and dt is one over here. Uh, the down function, so you have a down function formula over here, but alternatively you can just calculate the reciprocal of the up function. Over here I have calculated the risk neutral probability that we'll use to calculate the present value of the option premium. This is the formula, uh, like you can see the formula is the exponential of R multiplied by DT, so B7 is risk free rate, uh, DT is 1 in our case minus the down factor which is uh, minus b13 b13 is the down factor and then divided by uh, the up factor minus the down factor so up factor is uh, b12 over here and then uh, down factor is again b13 so that is how calculated the risk neutral probability for up factor and similarly to calculate the risk neutral probability of down factor i have calculated one minus the up, the up factor okay okay let's come back to the moment of stock price time one this is the up move up move at time two is this multiply by again the up factor which is 149 now this again has a down factor so this multiply by the down factor uh, Okay, so from here to here again, this will have a down factor. So this multiply by down factor. And then again, this will move the up factor and then we'll have a down factor. So this multiply by the down factor. Okay, so just in order to see if you apply a up factor, whether from 81.87, you will reach to 100 just to ensure do this multiply by the up factor and you will see 100 let's say if this is the price movement that you are expecting on the basis of calculation what could be our option premium so as we are valuing a call option the intrinsic value of a call option is the, the current price value minus the strike price 
okay so let's build a formula so let's say at any uh, given point the value can be either max of the current price minus the strike price the strike price is going to remain the same so i'll freeze it right then i'll calculate the option premium okay there's something wrong max of this minus this or zero okay okay i'll just recalculate the formula max of this or zero let's calculate the value of uh, option premium at uh, time one uh, before that i uh, just forgot to mention that uh, the type of option that we are assuming in this exercise that it's a european option that is why it can only be exercised at the end of the maturity which is uh, year two in our case to calculate the uh, value of uh, option at time one we'll use the risk neutral probability let's do the calculation so this multiply by the risk neutral probability of of move plus this multiply by the probability of down move right everything multiply by calculate the present value so everything is in uh, exponential function so uh, that would be our minus risk free rate multiply by the dt factor okay similarly i'll paste the formula here so since the uh, premium over here is zero that is why at time one you have uh, zero premium and at time zero this is the value of the call option on the basis of binomial method which is 14.84 put it in a box so this is a this is the price moment and this is call value the problem is let's say right now the time to maturity is 2 now if you let's say if you have to build a, a model with a time to maturity of 10 or uh, incorporating more number of steps then what will happen is this calculation can become tedious so in order to avoid that we can build a formula so if you know how to code a vba formula well and good uh, if you don't then i have a shortcut for you which i have also utilized uh, for my exercise which is the latest chat gtp and follow the steps Okay, so earlier, uh, just in order to basically run the analysis, I have used this feature. Uh, let's say if you have to do it afresh, then uh, go to new chat and type you need VBA code for binomial call option and then post it. So chat GTP will uh, give you the result. Uh, you have option to copy the code that you can uh, utilize to build the macro code. When I was doing this exercise and uh, when I was trying to reconcile the value uh, from this code versus the value from the uh, Excel computations that we have just built, uh, there was differences. And in few cases, code was not working properly. So in case, let's say if this code works for you, well and good. If not, then if you go, if you uh, come at the bottom, you have option to regenerate the response. Once you regenerate the response, uh, chat GTP will, will give you a new code and you can uh, basically create a macro and see whether the output matches with the uh, output uh, based on the Excel computations. So in interest of time, uh, let's copy this which is a trial and uh, tested code 
and then create a micro code so for that uh, you can go to uh, developer tab and then visual basics or use shortcut alt and f11 uh, to insert a new module go to insert module and paste the formula over here and once you have the formula so the function name is binomial option price save this save this to continue saving as a macro free workbook uh, click yes but we don't want to save it macro free we want because we're working on a uh, bba function let's save it as macro enabled workbook and hit save now in order to use how to use the formula you have uh, some help over here so like you see there's an example uh, an example we are calculating option price for an european call option and these are the functions or these are the input that you have to provide to the function so binomial option price 100 is the strike price 95 is the uh, sorry 100 is the stock price 95 is the strike price 5% is the risk free rate one is time to maturity uh, 100 is the steps which is dt and then 30% uh, is the volatility so we are going to use the same so let's close this and use binomial option price so strike price sorry stock price strike price uh, risk free rate, time to maturity, number of steps, and volatility, and hit enter. Okay, so this is the uh, output based on the macro code, and this is on the basis of Excel uh, computations, Excel computations, right? And it is matching okay now let's what let's do one thing uh, build a formula on the basis of Blackstone's model and see how the output is uh, for, and what are the and what is the output looking like in comparison to the binomial method so in my last video I we have worked on uh, valuation of convertible bonds and we have, in order to calculate the uh, value of the option part, we have utilized the Black Scholes formula. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, go and watch the video in order to understand how to calculate the uh, option value on the basis of Black Scholes model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and paste it over here and uh, i'll just link the input to our binomial model input which is the stock volatility is 20 risk free rate is 5 percent uh, current price is 100 okay this is stock price issue it was it was uh, it's not applicable here so i'll delete this current price is 100 strike price is 100 and time to maturity is 2 in our case okay. uh, what is this total value of call option again applicable to our last exercise I'll delete this not applicable here what I can do is uh, okay so this is on the basis of okay so what i'll do is i'll calculate the i'll put value on the basis of binomial model and the value on the basis of black scholes model and then the difference Okay, so on the basis of binomial model, we'll use the value on the basis of macro code so that we can play around with the time to maturity and value on the basis of black model is this and difference 
let's say we are calculating the difference okay let's take this way how how much it's higher or what is the difference nine so at the moment it is eight percent okay now in order to basically decrease this what we can do is so first of all uh, i mean like uh, what we can do is we can play around with uh, time to uh, maturity we don't have to uh, build the uh, binomial tree on the basis of macro code uh, as i change this let's say time to maturity is 10 number of steps is 10 uh, you have the value of call option on the basis of macro code 44.6 and uh, on the basis of black shell model uh, 45.19 which is pretty close okay and if i look at without any decimal places they are uh, exactly same with just one percent difference so let's go back to uh, this assumption of uh, time to maturity of two number of steps two and then if you see there's an eight percent difference so basically uh, more time to maturity and the number of steps the less is the difference if you see if i uh, like i just uh, showed you the difference is one percent in this case if i increase the time to maturity to 20 uh, number of steps to 20 in that case the difference is just uh, minus 0.5 percent and just for the sake of discussion if i change this to 30 time to maturity 30 uh, then in that case the difference is just uh, minus 0.2 percent all right so this is in terms of uh, whatever we discuss at the start of video uh, about covering the areas i hope this video is useful to you and uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, I see you the next time.